Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a little bit of a gel polish design. Um, I wanted to play with these jelly polishes again. Um, <laughs> I was in a bit of a dropsy mood today. It, uh, I hadn't particularly noticed it during the day, but as I sat down to do this set, it, it just, everything that could go wrong kind of went wrong. You will notice, therefore, that I have already painted the middle finger. Um, there's something about the middle finger, isn't there? Um, but <laughs> this is, uh, that, that's the second time that finger has been polished. Um, so this, this design started off with, uh, me doing the polish for that middle finger. Just as I did that and I went to, um, put it in the lamp, I turned back round and a little fly had decided to land directly in the middle of that finger. So of course I had to wipe it off and start again. So <laughs> I did. Then I came to <laughs> do it again and as I picked up the lamp, I took, I just basically wiped off the white. I wiped off the blue. <laughs> I had to redo them again. Uh, then we come on to the water decal. Um, which I have popped in some water for about 20 seconds. I've peeled it off the back and I dabbed off the water. And then I, I, I don't know if it's me and these tweezers, you know. Um, but yeah, look, I've, I've just had to get my finger in there and just try and smoosh this down. I haven't put any base coat on. This was straight onto the tacky layer of the white. Um, I'm just very gently peeling it and getting it round, which was all fine in the end. But it, it just kept folding over on my tweezers. It just wouldn't. It would not put go where I wanted it to go. But it is beautiful. And I very much like this water decal. And now you see why this finger is white. I did decide with the jelly nails that um, I wanted the colour a little bit more. So I will come along and put another coat on those. But at the minute I'm just buffing that edge um of where the water decal was just to get rid of the overlap so when we top coat it it will seal it all in so yeah here we go i'm going to put another coat of the jelly polish on and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to do uh white on the pinky finger and the thumb or will we come clear very shortly i quite like these jelly polishes actually i wasn't sure at first you know you're going, hmm, hmm, hmm. but yeah they're, they're kind of growing on me Okay, so there we go. Everything has been polished. It's been cured. I've lost the will to live. Um, and I decided I am going to foil these. Now, this is the second attempt of me foiling them. Uh, I put the Nail Nails foil gel on these nails and I cured them for 30 seconds. Or at least I thought I had cured them for 30 seconds, but I didn't. So the first attempt, <laughs> I tried to foil... And the, it, it went in the lamp, I, it turned on, but it, it's it got a sensor in it. So I think it kind of flicked on and off. Um, it didn't actually. <laughs> I should have just walked away at this point, but I was like, no, we've got this far. I am not giving up now. We're going to keep going. Um, so what I did, I just cleaned it off and came back in with another layer press the button this time to make sure that it did cure it for 30 seconds and then I'm just going to put this foil on which is some lovely lovely feathers and giving it a rub with a lint-free wipe to get it to stick and then we're gonna pull it off and I yeah this one didn't quite I'm just giving it a bit more of a rub trying to get the effect better And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to come in then on the final two fingers. Um, the lovely tray sent me a glitter fairy glitter called Blueberry, and it's a matte glitter. 
So again, this is just on to the tacky layer. Now I'll start using my crystal thingy to pick up these individual bits. And as you can see, it's, it's already painful. I'm like, and it, it was one of those days. I'm like, what? Looking back on it, I'm going, why am I using my crystal picker up to do this? Because normally I get a little, a little orange stick. I just dip the very tip of it, so the pointy end, into a bit of top coat just to give a bit of stick on there. And then I would just pick them up and put them in. So by the time I get to the thumb, I've realised of what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Um, <laughs> and I go back to my preferred method. Now, I didn't want um, the glitter on all of the fingers. I'm trying to I'm trying to put little bits of glitter on it. <laughs> what are you doing, Shona? What? Why? Oh, my. Oh, this is just painful. <laughs> oh, you've got to have a laugh at yourself, really, haven't you? Um, I'm using the Nao Nails uh, white polish and it doesn't have the best tacky layer, which isn't isn't necessarily a bad thing. But for what I was doing, it, it's not the tackiest um, surface to be trying to stick stuff onto let alone doing the technique I am. So in future people, just just get an orange wood stick and do it that way. It it's much simpler. <laughs> I promise you I'm gonna figure it out in a second. Any any moment now. Any moment no I'm still I'm still going. <laughs> Oh dear. And of course I love working on the thumb because none of the tips go big enough for the size of the thumb. So they always just pull out as you're trying to do stuff. Um, I've got, as you know, I use various different tips. This is the size zero. It's as big as it goes and it, it, it it's not big enough. Mm, I know. Fun, isn't it? There we go. See, orange would stick much, much better. Here we go. Put my brain back in gear and off we go. I really like this glitter, actually. I wasn't sure about MAC glitter, and that's why um, Trey sent me some to have a look at, because there's a few different ones that she did, different colours. Um, I really like it, actually. I, oh, yeah, I was humming and iron about it. Mm, glitter is spoke, supposed to be sparkly. Why would you have matte glitter? Um, but, yeah, I, I quite like this. Then once I'm done, I am going to put uh, two coats of top coat over the top to protect all of these. And then we are done. You will be pleased to know. <laughs> See, look, and then, then I just I just stuck my thumb straight on there and I've just pulled them off. It's like, what? I see, I haven't even realised now. And then I'm just looking at it again, it's, it's stuck to your thumb. Oh, no, no, look, Shoni, you've just stuck it to the practice hand thumb. You can see my hand gestures. <laughs> I'm just so... <laughs> oh, this is so funny watching it back. But I, oh, at the time, I was so annoyed. I was getting so fed up with this design. But I was like... And it's one of those where you probably should... I should have walked away and come back. But I was like, no, I've started. I've got this brief window to try and get this done. I'm doing it. I will not be defeated. Uh, but and we got we got there in the end. Hurrah! Oh, so there we go. I really hope you've enjoyed this design and had a very good giggle at me. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>